your butt, shake your butt, shake your butt. Listen.
Church, can you slap your hands and give the Lord a mighty shout of praise? You don't look like you're in a celebration mood. Give the Lord a shout. Woo! Hallelujah. So before we continue with the worship, we want to remain standing as we usher in the Archbishop and Mama together with the brigade. Can you put your hands together and let's celebrate our Papa and Mama.
Oh, come on, church, you can do it better. Celebrate the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords in the house. Give all the glory to the King of Kings, the one who resurrected on the third day. And now appreciate our Papa and Mama. Give the Lord a shout. Hallelujah. Still in the worship mood, you want to lift your voice and appreciate God. You want to thank God for Paris Chapel. You want to thank God for Mama. Thank God for Papa. You want to thank God for your life. Give him all the praise. Give him all the glory. Somebody lift your voice. Lift your voice. Lift your voice. Exalt the name of Jesus. Hey. Lift your voice and worship the king. Give him all the glory.
Jesus, what a powerful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ, my what a powerful name, what a powerful name. It is. Nothing can stand against. What a powerful name, what a powerful name it is. The You reign, you ain't 
Christian Zion's King. Kados, Kados, you are mighty on your throne. You reign, you wish in Zion's King. Kados, Kados, you are mighty on your throne.
Because he is reason. The God we serve is reason. In Matthew 28, verse 6, he says, He is not here. For he is reason as he said. If he said, sorry, send me out. Come yeah, and pepe. see the place where he lay. This was what the angels said to the women who went to the tomb after three days. He's reason, oh my brethren. You see, you don't understand the power of the resurrection. Some have their gods that they carry when they travel. For some people, their gods are around their waists. For some people, they carry their gods and give them food. But the God that we say we serve, the heavens and the earth are in his hands. Some people worship a God they hope they will meet someday. Because he died and he did not rise. The difference between us and them is today. That the God we serve, he came as man. He died. Oh, yeah. But on the third day, he rose. Oh, sorry, yeah. The whole essence of our salvation hey, is that on this this day, day, the powers in heaven and on earth to me, I want us and, and beneath the earth and the were put in his hands. He is reason. Well, sorry. He is reason. Well, sorry. He is reason. Well, sorry. And this year, our prophetic word is the year of God's power. If there is nothing that lets you understand God's power, it is the fact that he died. And when he died, the veil in the temple was torn in two. And darkness came upon the earth. And he was buried and soldiers were kept to man his grave. And they put a rock over the entrance to his tomb. But on the third day, on the third day, on the third day, the power of God defied humanity. It defied, it defied science. And he was risen again. Brethren, if you believe in the power of God this year, for me, I believe today is the most powerful day. Because we celebrate his victory over death. Put your hands together for the Lord as you take your seat. And I welcome you into our joint service. On behalf of our father, the Archbishop, and our mother, Reverend Mrs. Viviana Ginasari, we warmly welcome you into our first service, or, or our service for today, because it's a joint service. We're coming to you live from the Perez Dome, Jolo Junction. We also want to welcome our online and TV viewers. Because we are live on Facebook and YouTube with the name at Perez Dome. And you can also watch us on Precious TV. And listen to us on Rainbow Radio 87.5 MHz. If you've just joined us online... Please stay tuned. And whether you are online or in the dome, please share the link with your family and friends. And I can assure you of one thing. Your life will never be the same. We have some testimonies. Reverend Nicoleman. Let's clap our hands and give praise to God. The Bible says, he said, if I be lifted, 
I will draw all men to myself. And one of the things that gives us are the wonderful testimonies. This morning we have two testimonies to the praise of God. And the first one goes like this. This is the doing of the Lord. And it is marvelous in our sight. God is our refuge and strength. A helper who is always found in times of trouble. Therefore we shall not be afraid. But for the goodness of God and his divine protection running after me and when I have been late but grace has brought me safe that's as far grace can bring me. At the tail end of December 2023 December, I suffered a terrible medical condition that saw me being placed on oxygen for weeks. It only took the grace of God and the prayers of the saints to have my life back. My sincerest thanks goes to the to the first family of this church. And to the several visits they made to me. Both at the hospital and at my residence. To the numerous family members, pastors, elders, deacons, and deaconesses, and church and church members who visited me prayed and stood by me I say God richly bless you all my life God has been faithful and I will continue to sing to the glory of the Lord this testimony came from Elder Champon church let's clap our hands and give praise to God the second testimony is it says the Lord is good and his message endure it forever I am thanking the Lord for delivering me and preserving me and six other people from a near fatal accident says on Friday 22nd of March I was returning from Takrade after a working visit at Bogoso and Takrade. I normally drive myself to visit the branches I oversee. But with this trip, I decided to embark with a company driver. On reaching a stretch at Salt Pond at 1 p.m., we do a Salt Pond. A saloon car that was ahead of us suddenly stopped in the middle of the road. It was surprising because where the stoppage happened was a major and a busy road. Immediately, my driver applied the brakes and the horn. But my vehicle had gotten very close to the saloon, and to save the situation, my driver rammed the vehicle to the back side of the saloon car. Causing serious damage to the saloon car and my vehicle. The saloon car was having five passengers on board. And was being driven by a woman all the way from Kumasi. Two ladies were mildly injured and were rushed to the hospital to be treated and discharged. I was speechless for a minute because the accident happened within a second. I 
I started thanking God that no lives were lost and no serious injuries occurred. Church, that's a good place to clap your hands. It was the power of God that saved me and the other six people. I give all glory, honor, praise, and adoration to God for coming through for me and delivering me from the snare of the fowler. May God's name be praised. And this is coming from Reverend Atobra, one of our ministers. With a clap offering, shall we welcome the moderator of the service? Thank you very much, Reverend Coleman. We'll, we'll take a, a song ministration from Temple Choir.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, I, I felt very bad having to stop them because of time. But don't worry. When we make it to heaven, it will continue without stop. And I will read it. I have my thank you. 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 It is offering time. Yeah, for and so we'll have another opportunity to dance again. For those of you in the don't please prepare. I know you've come with a very well prepared offertory. You for those watching us online and those in the don't who want to give electronically, you can give using star eight hundred star one thousand hash. And this is across all mobile networks with no transaction fee and no e levy. You can also give us using MTN mobile money. On 0243 or on Telesell Cash, now T Cash. And now Telesell Cash, and now T Cash. What was previously Voda, Vodafone Cash? Yeah, I'm a friend of Vodafone Cash, you know. 020 020 316 316 2084. 2084. Or you can also give if you're abroad. Using send wave or world remit or tap tap send. But if I send wave and a world remit, and I said tap tap send. So with the name Perez Chapel International. And the number is or the numbers are plus two three three. Now no plus two three three two zero three two zero three one six two one six two zero eight four zero eight four or plus two three three. Plus two three three two four three two four three five zero zero five zero zero six two four six two four. Or you can give using PayPal. And I'll bet me I'm my idea for PayPal and so so. With the account name Perez Dome. Edino A Perez Dome. Perez Chapel International. Perez Chapel International. The account, the username is at Perez Dome. Edino Didi Jumani at Perez Dome. And the email is Perez Dome at Perez Chapel. The email address near Perez Dome at Perez Chapel dot org. Please, if you're in the dome and you have your of a tree prepared, please rise and let's pray. The Uofi has a Nasa Odua for you Abba, Mr. Sobe Sorejina on Naso. Father, we thank you and bless you for this opportunity to give. Out of the abundance that you have given to us, we bring this as thanksgiving. And we know that your power will be made manifest in our lives for the rest of this year. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. 
you can do it better to the king of kings and the lord of lords your clapping is on admission give him all the glory and add a shout of praise his glory he shares with no man hallelujah Set a 
Jesus of the glory and the honor. To bless your holy name, Jesus of the glory and the honor, Lord. Can you lift your hands and tell Him? As we bless your holy name, you are great. Oh, come on, Paris Chapel, can you give the Lord some glory? There is no one. Shout to the Lord with a voice of celebration. 
Worthy of praise. Worthy of glory. Oh, give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. The Bible says, clap your hands, all ye people. Shout unto God with a voice of celebration. Today is Resurrection Sunday. And we want to thank God for this Resurrection Sunday. When Jesus rose from the dead, he approached his disciples in Matthew chapter 28 and said, All authority has been given to me in heaven and earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even on to the end of the world. On the promise of the Great Commission, 37 years ago, a young man and woman went to the north at Word Miracle Church now Perez Chapel who was born. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. And this morning in all the Perez Chapel <laughs> In all the Paris chapels around the world, they are celebrating this day. Give Jesus a mighty clap. Take your seats for a few minutes. And uh, before I bring the word, there are two people we want to honor. Two people who have served this church very well. And so can you bring me the, and I want to ask mama to come up. And then I want to ask the chief elder, I, chief elder, a chief deacon, a William Ponsan to also come forward. These two people have served us very well. <laughs> You're welcome. Yes, 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 yes. So we are going to honor them. So there's this citation in honor of Chief Elder William Ayi. In recognition of your years of dedicated service and leadership as the chief elder of Perez Chapel International, Perez Do, you discharge your duties with all diligence. Ah, where is Madam? She's at the back. Where is her, Mrs. Ai? <laughs> Please come. Mr. Obra. Where is Mrs. Ewiam Ponsa? Ewiam Ponsa. Oh, she's not in town. Okay. So, welcome, Mrs. Ai. Wow. <laughs> Some of you don't know Mrs. Ai. <laughs> you have always known Elder Ai. <laughs> Help her. I said, ah, you guys, you must be gentlemen in this place. <laughs> I don't know what, where we stopped because we used to always appreciate women when they were coming up the platform. Okay. 
So, in, rec in recognition of your years of dedicated service and leadership as the chief elder of the Perez Chapel International Perez Dome, you discharge your duties with all diligence, de dedication, and distinction, and will be greatly missed by all Perezites, especially your colleague elders, deacons, and deaconesses. You continued your roles as the as uh, your roles in the secular field and church leadership so well that many thought you were on full time. On this occasion of your end of tenure, we join you to celebrate the Lord's faithfulness and wish you his grace, mercies, and protection in every step along your way. God richly bless you. <laughs> Archbishop Charles and Reverend Mrs. Vivian Ajin Asare. Wow. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. Oh, show it to the church. To the elder. Wow. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Awesome. Citation in honor of Chief Dikinewian Ponsa. In recognition of your years of dedicated service and leadership as the Chief Deacon of Perez Chapel International, Perez Dome, you discharge your duties with all diligence, dedication, and distinction, and you will be greatly missed by all Perezites, especially your colleague elders, deacons, and deaconesses, popularly known as EDD. You continued your roles in the secular field and church leadership so well that many thought you were on full time. On this occasion of your end of tenure, we join you to celebrate the Lord's faithfulness and wish you his grace, mercies, and protection in every step along your way. God richly bless you. Archbishop Charles and Reverend Mrs. Viviana Ginasari. Amen. Congratulations. Amen. Congratulations. Put your hands together for them. Thank you very much. Thank you for serving the church very well. We appreciate you. Yes, church, put your hands together for them. Oh, you can do it better than that. I saw Elder Champo also in the house. Hey, after so many months, good to see you, Elder Champo. Will you stand? Let's appreciate you. Amen. Amen. So, some of you don't know that he went through the valley of the shadow of death. We thank God for your life, for saving your life. And keeping you alive for us. Amen. Amen. Will you please stand and lift your Bible and say, This is my Bible. Let me try some it is the word of God. It has the power to change my life. And to give me an inheritance. Amongst all the sins. I'm not a hearer only. But I'm a doer of the way. Wave your Bible at me. And shout hallelujah. Amen. Will you please take your seat. Today marks 37 years since this church, Perez Chapel International, was started. In obedience to the Great Commission, we didn't really put any fanfare to this celebration. Because even though it's 37, it's not... A major milestone. But not many founders. You see, the church belongs to Jesus. But he uses human vessels to found them. To start different denominations. So I requested that song. All the glory must go to the Lord. So as much as we say we are founders, the real founder of the church is Jesus Christ. 
Give him all the praise. This 37 years has been a journey of faith. Like I said, as a young couple, we left the south, went to the north to start Word Miracle Church International and Paris Chapel. I came into full-time pastoral ministry in 1983. And in that year, God commissioned me into a healing ministry. And a worldwide ministry. When he spoke to me, my boy Charles, I sent you as I sent Moses. Go and I'll put my words on your lips and reach the world for me. After a season of fasting and prayer, I heard him again when he said, my boy Charles, I give unto you power over demons and principalities. Heal the sick raise the dead and preach the kingdom at that tender age I started getting ready to fulfill this great commission to to reach the world and in 1984 I was ordained a missionary by brother Enokagbozo the founder of Ghana Evangelical Society who turned 90 years last year and Ghana Evangelical Society 10, 50 years Ghana Evangelical Society, I didn't fear you know, so. so in 1984, I was, he ordained me a missionary. And I was privileged to travel around the eastern region. The Ashanti region. Volta and now Oti region. On one of such missions, I saw a beautiful young lady, and the whole world stopped for me. <laughs> and I said, Lady, this, this was Tamale. So you've gone ahead of me. This was Tamale. I'm still in 1984. <laughs> Then in 1985, I started holding crusades, miracle crusades. I call them explosive miracle crusades. So I went to a Samankesi for a 21-day crusade. I came on down for a 10 day miracle crusade by Akimoda their mommy was dying for me and then we went to a Wisa Kusi Osnase and Kedi holding miracle crusades and then by August of that year I got married to my alumbo. Ajovi Vivian. Ajovi Vivian. In August 1985. And we continued with the crusades. In Takwa. And Pristia. I decided to learn about crusade planning. So I left my wife of four months to go and study crusade planning in Benin City, Nigeria. Under Archbishop Idahosa. The team you saw there on the picture. 
were the different prefects of the school in our time. I was the assistant school prefect. I returned to Ghana at the end of 1986. After being ordained, or, or consecrated an apostle by Bishop Oedepo as I ministered in his conference. I returned to Ghana and preached in ICGC come meeting in 1986 in Victory Christian Victory. Center then now Victory Bible Church and live and Living Faith World Outreach in Takrade. And I live in Faith World Outreach in Takrade. All these churches give me good honorariums. And they were looking at this young man who's left his wife for one year. And they wanted to support us. ICGC took a, a very good offering for us. In fact, they asked all in the all in the meeting to give an offering for me. But knowing what was ahead of us, instead of spending those monies. We use those honorariums to plan for a crusade in Tamale. Which started on my 25th birthday. Where I asked God for souls. In the Tamale crusade. Many souls were saved. Many notable miracles were wrought. And we started word miracles on the last Sunday of March. And whilst in Tamale, I was then called Brother Charles. Oh, friend, Brother Charles. Brother Charles and word miracle. Brother Charles, any word miracle became a household name in the north. We pastored in Tamale for seven years. Yes, sir. so I was Tamale and moved to Accra. In Accra, we started church Sunday afternoons. Yes, sir. At the Kanda cluster of schools. And finally got a place at the former CFC premises. And started Sunday morning services in October 1994 with 70 adults. But by the end of the following year, God had given us so much growth. We were running four services every Sunday. After that, we decide so you know this is one of our fourth services. Where people will come and be sitting outside. And when it was raining, they will carry their umbrellas, sit in the rain. With the kind of growth that we were experiencing, we decided to open other branches in the city of Accra. And our first branch we opened was at La. And our La Crusade was a powerful crusade. All kinds of miracles were wrought in the name of Jesus. And we give God all the praise and all the glory. By our third year, in fact, by our second year in Accra, it was getting uncomfortable. And I kept praying that God will give us a place of our own, a permanent place. And then one day we saw this article in the newspapers that they were selling all the former meat marketing board properties so we, when we saw it 
we decided to follow up and go and see the places so we came to this place and this place was made up of an old warehouse in front of which they had killed cows and blood there was a lot of thick blood over there and then there was an open place with giant grass and a lot of silt because when it rained in Jowulu all the water came here before it looked for outlets so there was a lot of salt and an old dilapidated office we put in a bit a bit we, we applied for the place and by the grace of God, we won the bid. We were given one year in which to pay. And by the grace of God, in one year, we were able to pay. It. So just three years. Now it was, it was very, we took a very sacrificial offering. In our third year, sacrificial offering. And then, just when we were turning four years in Accra, we moved to this place from circle in what we call the Great Move. So, this was the Great Move. We any Great Move, we want to give thanks to God. In this morning, you saw us march in with the brigade. Bishop Selassie was part of the brigade those days. <laughs> this was our early days of the brigade. And uh, we, some of our pastors today, like Reverend Makafui, and some of them were all part. Uh, uh, brother Dan and Dan. some of some of all the some of the choristers and many other people were all part of our brigade. Those days our children's service used to meet under trees. Yeah. But today see what the Lord has done. In 2006, we started, build, we started building the Perez Dome. And by two, we had been raising monies from 2002 to 2006. And by 2008, we had raised the building without roofing. And we hosted Dr. Morris Serulo in the building. At that time, this was the largest auditorium in Ghana. This was the first auditorium with a diameter of 60 meters without a pillar. I wanted to have a meeting place where there was no pillar in the middle because until we did this most auditoriums that took more than a thousand people in Ghana had pillars so it was getting difficult to roof the place so for two years we were marking time and then we were introduced to an American company that could span large roofs and by the grace of God, they fabricated everything in America, shipped it, came and assembled it here, piece by piece. And me, I like the artistic beauty of the place, so I don't want it 
sealed. Because when I look at it like this, now my home home abba. Now my spirit has come. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So the young couple, our Ajina Saris, who in obedience to God decided to leave their father and mother. They are a city in which they grew up in to start this journey of faith, which today has sent us to 93 countries. And we have churches in 24 countries. Which has made us worldwide Christian leaders. Together with the church that God used us to start. Today we are celebrating 37 years. We give him all the praise. We give him all the glory. All the glory must be to him. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. We thank God for your life. For being a part of the story. On the occasion of this anniversary. The bookshop sells my boy Charles. For 50 cities. Today. They will give it to you for 30 cities. So that you can have a copy, have a copy for a friend. But as I prayed and meditated on what message God wanted me to bring on this Founders Day. He said, rise to the next level. Say, rise to the next level. Sorry, in Joshua chapter 13 and verse 1. Joshua 18, he says, now Joshua was old. Advanced in years. And the Lord said to him. You are old. Advanced in years. And there remains very much land yet to be possessed. Lift up one hand as a sign of surrender. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, it's time to declare your word. Your word is already anointed. I ask that you anoint these lips of clay. Grant me utterance and make me a blessing to your people. In Jesus' name. Joshua was the man that God chose after Moses. <laughs> to take them into the promised land they got into the promised land conquered many lands and by this time Joshua was old and thinking about resting and God woke him up and said Joshua even though you are advanced in years there remains yet much more land to be possessed. Beloved, this journey has been a journey of faith. But it's a continuing journey. And the future is also going to take a journey of faith. And, and that includes your personal life. Because when we talk about the church, it is not just Perez Chapel, it is you. Oh, you didn't give me an amen. So we are talking about you. Your life from here must be a journey of faith. Because God works through our personal faith. In Hebrews 11 verses 1 and 2, it says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. 
For by this faith, the elders obtained a good report or a good testimony. There are four types of faith. Natural faith, saving faith, the vehicle of faith, and the, and the gift of faith. Natural faith, everybody is said to have it. In Romans chapter 12 verse 3, Romans the, back, the Holy Spirit through the Apostle Paul says, For I said through the grace given to me to everyone who is among you not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think but to think soberly as God has dealt to each one the measure of faith. Two schools of thought. Some say this refers only to Christians because Paul was writing to the Romans. There's a second school of thought that says that well, anybody who takes the Bible, this refers to him. So let me assume that this is talking to everybody who takes the Bible. So the scripture is saying that we all have faith. Now that is that faith that makes you sit in an aeroplane, a big machine, and, and you are confident that it will not crash. That is what makes you big as you are, go into your room and fall on your bed knowing that it can support you. You sit on a chair and you know the chair will support you. It is natural faith. Then there is saving faith. Saving faith is imparted to you the day you receive Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. In Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 it says for by grace are you saved through faith. So that faith is imparted to you for you to be saved. And that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. Then there is the vehicle of faith. Which every Christian carries. Because the just shall live by their faith. If you are a Christian, you live by faith. And the Bible continues to say, not only do we live by faith according to Galatians 3 verse 11, but the Bible says we walk by faith and not by sight. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 7. Faith is very important. Because faith can make the impossibilities possible. Jesus said in Mark chapter 9 verse 23. That if you can believe. All things are possible to him who believes. This morning I am talking to somebody that must believe so that the coming years impossibilities will be made possible to you. Give me a believing amen. On that score, today I am going to put into your hands five simple keys. We are going to look at how to get a clear cut vision, having a burning desire for what you want, praying through till you have the substance, sacrificing for your dream, and, and calling the things which be not as though they are. So let us start our journey. Number one, you must have a clear cut vision. The truth of the matter is that God works from within you. And so in Ephesians 3 verse 20, the, the Bible says, Now unto him who is able to do exceeding, ab exceedingly, ab exceeding abundantly, sorry, above all that we ask or think according to the power 
power that works in us. Immediately you receive Jesus. God comes to live on your inside. He works his good purposes out of you. The Bible says God is able to will and to do of his good pleasure out of you. However, if that good pleasure is going to be done, you have to have a clear-cut objective. The substance of the things you hope for. Not a vague idea. The substance of the things you hope for. One day, Pastor Yongi Cho went to preach in Sweden or Norway in the Scandinavian country. And there was this lady in the service who was crying. And Pastor Yongicho asked the pastor, why is this lady crying? The lady has been believing God to get married. But nobody is showing up. Pastor Young Cho decided to talk to the lady. He asked her, what kind of a man do you want to marry? She said, anyone. Pastor Young Cho said, that is the reason why your man has not suffered. I read this so many years after I got married. Because before I got married, there were specific things I asked for the woman. Woman, I wanted to marry from God. I described her height, how she should look like, the color of her skin. <laughs> because what you need from God must be clear cut. So, young Ito told the lady to take a pen and write the 10 things she was looking for in the man. So, the lady described the 10 things she was looking for and Pastor Young Ito told her to begin to pray and, and be specific and paste that in front of her mirror. And every day remind ourselves of it, remind God of it. The following year he went to preach in that church and the past, and there was this lady smiling at him, he, he didn't remember because I mean when you travel and you meet so many people you know. The pastor said, don't you remember this lady? Said no. Said this was the lady you 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 know who who wrote the things. Oh yes. So the lady began to tell her story. He said her description didn't fit any of the guys in the church. But after after a few months, a gentleman came into the church to come and perform. And when he came, what she wanted was exactly what they got. Don't get excited yet. But then the other ladies in the church too. They too were all over the guy. She decided to relax. And some way, somehow, the guy was always coming to her. Long story short, she won the election. Give the Lord pray. Give him pray. So you must have a clear cut and defined faith goal. The way you want your business to go, the way you want things to go for you. But Timaeus was shouting, Lord Jesus, have mercy on me. Mercy, it's a big thing. So Jesus called Bartimaeus and in Mark chapter 10 from verse 51 Jesus said to him what do you want me to do for you? 
what specific thing are you looking for from God? The blind man said, Rabbi, that I may see. And Jesus said, Go your way, your faith has made you well. This year, may you be specific. May you have a clear cut vision. And may God meet you at the point of your need. Amen. Amen. For me, as, as a church, and this year we are going to do this joint service a number of times. One of the reasons why we will do this joint service a number of times is that I'm believing God that very soon we will be having two services and each of them is filled like this. Amen. Amen. And so you, you, you must begin to see it. Because very soon. Now that's why we changed our tithing and everything. Because very soon this is how it's going to be. Oh. <laughs> very soon before the first service starts there will be, a, there will be cues. We are coming there. <laughs> Give the Lord praise. <laughs> Not only that. <laughs> I'm believing God. That somewhere in the city of Accra. Because we've been paying for lamb. For 20 years. There's been battle over the land. Finally the Supreme Court has given us the. Supreme Court. It's about 50 acres of land. Uh, yeah, 50 acres. As I because say. I'm believing God that in this my few years, you know, if I if I even have 30 more years, uh, or, ja- say, or just 40, say, yes, or just 40 more years. Why? Is it too is it too small? <laughs> At least we need a convention ground. Amen. Where we will have prayer camps. Where we will have a big field. Where we can have our Easter celebrations. We can, we can have all our churches in the city come and we have sporting activities. Where we can have our primary school, secondary school. And part of our university campus there. Where we can have a clinic. Have hostels. And have our own cemetery. <laughs> Where we have shops. And it is going to happen. Clear cut vision. You must, have, you must have clear cut goals for your life. Number, number two, you must have a burning desire for what you want. In Proverbs chapter 10, verse 24, it says, The fear of the wicked it shall come upon him, but the desire of the righteous shall be granted. God, God doesn't give things we don't desire. In Psalm 37 and verse 4, he says, Delight yourself also in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. You have to have a passionate desire, a burning desire of what you want. You have to keep seeing it in your spirit. You have to pray and pray and pray till you see it in your spirit. What kind of a shop do you want? Do you still want to be having a tabletop? Or you want your own shop and chain of shops? Or you want a supermarket? What kind of a school are you going to build? You must, you must see it. 
you must have a burning desire you must hunger for it so that God can satisfy that dream you must test for it it must consume you such that you live it you sleep with it when you are walking you see it when we came to circle and we started running for services I began to desire a meeting place in Accra and I kept praying I prayed passionately till I got to a time I, whether I was eating I could see a big park with many people on it. Whether I was sleeping, I could see a big park with many people on it. Whether I was bathing, I could see a big park. I mean, I became consumed with it. And that is how come in our second year when they were selling this place and I got here and I saw the giant grass on this this open park even though it was grass suddenly in my spirit I could see people filling the place give them praise give them thanks have a bet have a burning desire for a change in your life. This year, you must not end up the same. And listen, listen, you didn't hear me. Thank God for this country. But Jesus said, yes, you say, though you are in the well, oh, we are saying, you are not of this well. No, no, we are saying, dear. And that is why as for you, no, no, dear. you will succeed oh, me, 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 me. irrespective of what is happening no, here. No, 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 no. Because you are connected no, 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 no. to a divine source. No, no, no. Give him praise. No, no, no. Give him thanks. No, no, no. Give him praise. No, no, no. Not a lukewarm desire. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Archbishop, maybe be be for me everything. Good. I don't want everything. I want some specific things. Amen. Tell somebody I don't want everything. I want some specific things. And this year, you must have a desire. Any desire. Don't be lukewarm. It must be a red hot desire. A red hot desire that will make you pray. A red hot desire that will make you hunger and thirst. Give and pray. Give him thanks. Give him praise. When you have that burning desire, you must be willing to, number three, sacrifice for that dream. In Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2, Hebrews 12, verse 2, it says, it says, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Who for the joy that was set before him and the cross despising the shape and are sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Jesus sacrificed himself because he saw the reward. You cannot go to the next level without the sacrifice of your time, without the sacrifice of your talents, without the sacrifice of your treasures, both to God and into your dream. Listen, church. Nobody believes in your vision more than yourself. You have got to have a passionate desire. But you must be willing to sacrifice into your dream. If you used to sleep eight hours a day, and you want to have clear-cut visions and dreams fulfilled, my dear, cut your sleep. Me, 
One of my favorite heroes now. Me aye ni pa ba ko a me 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 sha no pa and is Faila. Eh Faila. The lady who did the cooking in the north. Oh ba abai wa na ni ejane no. For the first time, ready kain ah. We saw a woman. Ehun o ba stand on her feet. Ah o jina na na mon. Was it eight or ten days? How many? How many days? Forty. Uh, how many? Oh, I think it's. it's, it's not and so you have all forgotten. Ah. Ten days. I think ten or fourteen days or something. Yeah, but there were days. Tell somebody there were days. There were days. This lady was sleeping. If you put the times they gave her to be sleeping, maybe two hours a day. Now the umbrella, the man's on fire now. They don't scream you. And for ten days, this lady was cooking. Now by way, she she wasn't just cooking. No, she was cooking. No, you see, there's cooking. And there's cooking. I mean, I was watching her by television, but at times I could smell the food. Now we take us up when it's over. No, so now we to me yet, you know. That is how powerful her cooking was. That le- look, that lady didn't win the Guinness World Record. But that lady is a star. If for ten days she was sleeping two hours and survived. If you want to succeed, I am sure if you sleep four hours for a number of years or at, or at most five hours, you, too, you can make it. Because if you work like everybody else, you will get normal results. Amen. Amen. Don't behave like the average person. And don't pray like the average person. Pray more than the average person. If you give like the average person, look, in the kingdom of God, the key to kingdom wealth since the the earth remains seed time and harvest shall not cease sowing and reaping will not cease Jesus said give it shall be given to you good measure pressed down shake it together running over will it cause men to give to your boss you can't give you can't receive the open doors you need without giving but you can't give like what the ordinary person gives this year change your giving you didn't hear me I said this year change your giving this year yeah. Change your work ethic. This year, put in more effort. Ah, this year, you want to study. You want. Oh, my God. You know, I, I discovered that for old people. One of the ways they can beat dementia is to study a new language, learn a new musical instrument. Something. So don't, 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 don't pride yourself with I am old. Learn something, do something. The government might have retired you. Don't retire yourself because when the government retires you, Make yourself a consultant. You didn't hear me. Sacrifice for your dream. Give him praise. Give him thanks. Give him praise. Tell somebody I don't know about you. But ask for me. I am rising to the next level. Number four. Pray. Till you have an assurance. We all know the story of how Elijah called down fire from heaven. After Elijah had called down fire from heaven, he was saying it was going to rain. 
So automatically you will think that it must rain. But in First Kings chapter 18, from verse 41 to verse 45, he says then Elijah said to Ahab, Go up eat and drink for there is the sound of abundance of rain so Ahab went up to eat and drink and Elijah went up to the top of Camel then he bowed on the ground and put his face between his knees and said to his servant go up now look toward the sea so he went up and looked and said there is nothing and seven times he said go again that it came to pass the seventh time that there is a cloud as small as a man's hand rising out of the sea. So he said, go up, say to Ahab, prepare your chariot and go into the sea. Before the rain stops you. Elijah, after calling down fire from heaven, the, the rain did not, he told Ahab, Ahab, there's the sound of abundance of rain. Even though he had said there's the sound of abundance of rain, he had to go on top of Mount Camel and apply pressure in prayer. He had to pray until he had the assurance. This year, I want you to pray till you have the assurance of your clear cut vision coming to pass. You see, things don't just happen. If you are here with me, give me a believing oh, amen. Things, tell somebody, things don't just happen. This year, some of you you want to apply pressure every day you want to pray at least three hours you've been praying one hour every day this year change your prayer time at least three hours every day before you go to work or before you go to sleep because this year you must rise to the next level you didn't hear me I said you must rise to the next level this year once a week you want to fast and pray because it is God who will lift you up and this year God is going to lift us up listen to me in our 37 years I can tell you that it is not because I am an orator no it is not because I am more knowledgeable but it is because I know a little bit of prayer because it is God who lifts up one and brings down another. I can see some men and women being lifted up this year by the power of the Holy Ghost. This year, don't miss our monthly fasting and prayer. Every month, we are investing seven days in fasting and prayer. And this year, you want to pray and pray and pray till you have the assurance. You see, when you have a clear-cut vision and you have a burning desire and you sacrifice for it and, and you pray and pray, you come to a place where you have an assurance. You know that you know. That you know that you know. Listen. My life has been a journey of faith. My brother, I a point to Amen. Amen. At the time I proposed to Mama, her father was not even accepting a women. Even from their tribe. So me and Fanti boy, a Fanti achievement combination like that. It wasn't going to happen. But can I tell you that the father accepted the things from my parents when he hadn't seen me. 
after he received the things then his eyes opened he said ah but I don't know the boy I had prayed till I had an assurance that I was going to marry this lady when we came to Accra I prayed till I had the assurance I remember one great man of God in the city he would call me he said I heard you said in your church that somewhere in the city God has a land for you he said in the city of Accra there is no land all the people you, you can't get a land because the way, the way you are talking you say you want a land that is more than five plots you can't get it you, are, you have to go outside the city so I've helped some pastors who have been in the city for 12, 15 years to get lands outside the city. Should I help you? I said no. I said somewhere in the city center God has a place for me somewhere because I was praying and I had an assurance in my spirit that somewhere in this city and by the power of the Holy Ghost God gave me five acres in the city center when we talk about assurance, it can take you two minutes in prayer. It can take three hours. It can take a week. It could even take two months. It could take three years. But whatever time it takes, you want to pray through till you have that assurance in your spirit that this is what the Lord has done. The Bible says in Romans chapter 8 verse 14 it says for as many as are led by the spirit of God they are the sons of God. So you must be led. And it says in Isaiah 26 verse 3 he says you keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you Philippians 4 7 says and the peace of God which passes all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Jesus Christ you, you have to pray through till you get the substance of the things you are hoping for stop treating God like a microwave Oven. You put in your food. Three minutes to five minutes it is cooked. No. We, this microwave generation. We, 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 we don't want to wait on God. But you have to learn to wait on God. Tell somebody wait on God. Amen. Amen. Stop living in a rush, rush, rush. Because today, when you want to eat fast food, unlike those days, our mothers they will go and buy the cassava, come and peel it, cook it. Found it. Oh, go and buy the palm today. You, the palm no soup, they've made it in a can. The fufu, it is neat fufu. In five minutes, you have finished fufu. In five minutes, you have heated your palm nut soup. And you are eating your palm nut soup. You pass by the, the side of your house. Suddenly there's a fast food restaurant. And so for a lot of us, we can't wait. But from but you want to wait on God. Because a lot of us have lost the art of spending time in the presence of God. We don't even spend time in the presence of our families and friends anymore. There are people that don't go out, they have so many friends and they are social media friends. Social media friends, when you need them, they are not there for you. The Bible says, he who has friends must show himself friendly. That is why there are people, when they have funerals, nobody 
nobody attends. Ask yourself, how many people's funeral have you attended? If you didn't go, your wife too couldn't go. If your if madam, you couldn't go, your husband too couldn't go. If you want to have friends, you must show yourself friendly. The Bible says rejoice with those that are rejoicing. And mourn with those that are mourning. You don't go to anybody's wedding. And you are surprised you had a wedding and nobody came. You don't give to anybody. And you are wondering why nobody has given to you. Because it doesn't work like that. This year, you must wait, wait, wait on your friends and family. There are people in your life that when they are doing something, you must attend. If you can hear me, give me a believing amen. You must. Because of what is happening in the world today, it's making it difficult to enter on the Lord. Instant coffee, instant food. But you need to wait on the Lord to have the title deeds. You need to pray through till you have a witness and assurance. Amen. Amen. When I was praying for God to use me, I traveled for days and months until I heard the audible voice of God. And he quickened scripture to me. I stood up and broke my fast. And since then, I've taken the gospel around the world on all five countries. Once you get the assurance, start thanking God. Start thanking him that he's taking you to the next level. Whether the devil likes it or yes, we are going to the next level. You you didn't hear me. I said whether the devil likes it or yes, we are going to the next level. Tell somebody sitting by you, I don't know about you. But ask for me. Whether the devil likes it or yes, that the witches and wizards like it or not. I am going to the next level and nothing is going to stop me. Give him praise. Give him thanks. Give him praise. So in Romans chapter 4, Romans 89, verse 20. The Bible says, and Abraham did not stagger at the promise of God through unbelief. But was strong in faith, giving glory to God, because he was fully persuaded that what he had promised, he was able to perform. Church, you have to pray through till you get through, till you get to a place you are fully persuaded. You know that 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 you. Know that you know that you know that you know that is going to happen when you pray through to that point, all things are possible this year. May all things become possible for you. Number five, and the last one call the things we be not as though they are, or speak into existence in Romans chapter 4 verse 17 it says at his, as it is written I have made you a father of many nations before him whom he believed even God who quickens the dead and calls the things which be not as though they were I mean God when Abraham still did not have a child Abraham and Sarah did not have a child said Abraham change your name from Abraham at that time he was called Abraham and the wife was called Sarai said change your name from Abraham into Abraham Abraham means a father of many nations Sarah means a mother of many nations this woman didn't have a child and you can imagine in the wilderness where Abraham them dwelt you will hear 90 year old Abraham 
Say alomo Sarah. Say alomo Sarah. Meaning, my alomo who has many children. And I am sure that the other people in the valley and in the in the in the in the wilderness. They will say the son has beaten Abraham so much that his crews are getting loose. And then when he kept saying. Sarah, Sarah. Oh, Pastor, Sarah, Sarah, no. Then Sarah too will respond. That Sarah so by Jesus. Hey, my Lord Abraham. Hey, Mira Abraham. Say anye ye. Oh, say anye ye. The man doesn't have a child. Hey, you bear man in the She's also saying. Oh, no, so can. He's a father of the same sickness that has affected him has affected him. I bear man no say na yo ba no. But that is how God does it. Say na nyame ye no. That is how he calls the things which be not as though they are. Before Jesus will come, God prophesied and said, The seed of the woman shall bruise the head of the serpent. Before Jesus will be born, God spoke through the prophet Isaiah. He said, Unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. The government shall be upon his shoulder. His name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, Everlasting God, Prince of Peace. Oh, give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Before Jesus will be born, God spoke and said, His name shall be called Emmanuel. God with us. He was calling the things which be not as though they are. I came today to tell somebody you are going to the next level. Begin to talk like somebody going to the next level. When Peter saw the crippled man in Acts chapter 3, he said, such as I have, I give to you. He hadn't seen anything, but he said, I have it. I am giving it to you. This year, I am moving to the next Level. This, oh, this year, <laughs> hey, we are going to have double services like this. It's going to be like this every week. Now, Chibia, give a pray, fire your man, give a pray, fire your man, give a pray, fire your man, give a pray, fire your man. My Bible says, Paul was preaching. Now, Paul can't say. And he saw the crippled man. And Paul shouted in Acts chapter 14, verse 10. He said, Stand upright on your feet. And he lived and walked. What is dead in your life? I speak into your prophetic destiny that whatever was dead in your life will receive life today. Whatever was not happening in your life, may it begin to happen in the name of Jesus. May there be a turnaround for you by the power of the Holy Ghost. If you were sick, may you be healed. If you had any incurable, disease. May that disease be healed. If you are limited, may your limitation be broken. Give him praise. Give him thanks. Give him praise. It says, by this faith, the elders obtained a good report. In James chapter 5, verse 15, it says, is any sick amongst you? Let him call the elder from verse 40. It says, is any sick amongst you? Let him, let, let him call the elders of the church. Oh, let's start from verse 40. James 5, verse 40. It says, is any sick among you? Let's start from verse 13 because the verse 13 is very powerful. Is any afflicted? Let him pray. Is any one of you in trouble? Is anyone having a challenge? Is there anybody who wants to go to the next level? He says, let him pray. If you are married, sing psalms. So this year, 
It's your year of prayer. It's your year of the manifestation of the power of God. The power of God will be manifested. But he says in the verse 14, is any sick among you, let him call for the elders of the church. Let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And verse 15, and the prayer of faith will save the sick and the Lord will raise him up and if he has committed sins he will be forgiven and the prayer of faith this year you want to pray the prayer of faith you want to declare your faith you see Christianity is a speaking faith we believe in our hearts. We speak with our mouth. I said we believe in our hearts. We speak with our mouth. So this year, you are going to believe and you are going to speak. Let me conclude. Church, you have all the resources within you. Use those elements needed to give birth to what you have incubated by one. Having a clear cut goal. Two. Having a burning desire and hunger for a breakthrough. Three. Sacrificing for what for your dream. Four. Have an assurance through prayer. And five, speak the word only. Hallelujah. Amen. Bow down your head. Let us pray. Listen, beloved. Dear me, Today is Resurrection Sunday. Jesus died that your sins will be forgiven. Yes, we said you are very do one free. If you are here today, and you want your sins forgiven. Lift up one hand. I'm going to pray with you. You want your sins forgiven. Lift up one hand. I'm going to pray with you. Yes, thank you. You want your sins forgiven. If your hand is raised, will you please stand? Yes. If you want your sins forgiven. If your hand is raised, please stand. Thank you. If your hand is raised, please stand. You want your sins forgiven. I'm going to pray with you. Thank you. you want your sins forgiven. Will you stand? Whilst you're standing. If you have a bad habit, you want to see that habit broken. Please stand. I'm going to pray with you. Also stand. You have a habit, you want that habit destroyed. Please stand. Saying you can't help yourself. Jesus can help you. If you are standing, take your Bible and your belongings and walk to me in front of you. I want to pray with you. You want your sins forgiven. You want your sins forgiven. Take your Bible. Walk to me in front of you. Take your Bible. Walk to me in front of you. You want your sins forgiven. You want to be set free from every bad habit. Walk out of your seat. Walk to me in front of you. Walk to me in front of you. Pray with you. Will you face me? You want your sins forgiven. Walk out of your seat. Join me in front here. You want your sins forgiven. Yes, you want your sins forgiven. You want your sons forgiven. Will you please lift up one hand? Pray this prayer with me. Will you say, Dear God? Say, Dear God. Forgive me all my sins. Lord Jesus. You died for me. You rose for me. Sorry, mommy. Come into my life. Make my life a testimony to those who know me. Thank you, Lord, for answered prayer. Church, will you please stand with me? If
if today is your first day worshiping with us, can you take your Bible, your bag, your purse, and walk to me in front here? Whatever belongings you came here with, if today is your first day worshiping with us, take your belongings, walk to me. Today is your first day worshiping with us. Church, put your hands together. For Today is your first day Take your Bible, your bag, your purse. Whatever you came here with, please come with it. Oh, church, you can do it better than that. Church. Don't be in a hurry today because we will do communion and we will do anointing service. This is Resurrection Sunday. Awesome, awesome, awesome. The worship you with us for the first time. Church, put your hands together. This is your first day worship Awesome, awesome. You're welcome. If today is your first day worship with us. Today is your first day worship with us. You're welcome, you're welcome. You're welcome. We welcome you. Oh, hallelujah. Church. Till the last person can get Heavenly Father, I commit these precious ones to you. I pray they will be established in your house. Make them a testimony. In Jesus' name. Amen. You see this lady on your left? Will you please follow her? We have some trained people who talk with you. Church, put your hands together for them. Put your hands together for them. Put your hands together for them. Oh, you can do it better. You can do it better than that. You can do it better than that. So the last person goes. Lift up one hand. Say, Father, this year, take me to the next level. This year, I feel. I don't want to remain the same. Take me where I belong. Open your mouth. Talk to God. Open your mouth. Talk to God. Talk to Him. Talk to Him. Talk to God. Talk to Him. Talk to Him. Talk to Him. Talk to God. Talk to Him. Yes, talk to Him. Yes, talk to the Lord. Talk to Him. Talk to God. You want to talk to God, you want to lift up prayer, you want to lift up prayer this morning, you want to lift up prayer, you want to lift your voice that God will cause you to rise to the next level, you want to talk to God, you want to lift up prayer, you want to lift up prayer in the next two minutes, you want to lift up prayer, Lord on this Easter Sunday, help me to rise to the next level, Lord help me to rise to the next level, God to Moses to tell the children of Israel you have dwelt too long on this mountain it's time to move on you want to talk to God you want to lift up your voice the Bible says that stretch the length of your tents you want to talk to God you want to talk to God Jabez pray that God you will bless me and you will enlarge my post you want to talk to God Lord I am not satisfied of this level Lord this level Lord, you can achieve more with me. Lord, you can do more with me. Lord, I can achieve more in this life. Lord, you can do more. Lord, let the resurrection power let it be available unto me this morning. Lord, we pray that the resurrection power will lift me to my next level. Lord, I don't want to remain at the same level. Lord, I don't want to matter. Lord, lift me to my next level. Lord, let me have a clear conviction. Lord, let me have an assurance in my spirit. Lord, let me have an assurance in prayer. You want to lift up your voice. You want to talk to God. In the next 
one minute. You have a letter of your voice. Lord, lift me to my next level. Lord, lift me to my next level. Lord, lift me to my next level. Lord, I have blood to Lord. In the same place. Lord, it is time to move on. Lord, it is time to go ahead. You want to touch your girl. You want to lift your prayer. Lord, take my story around. Have we prayed? Amen. Amen. All the saints in the house will shout aloud, Amen. Uh, your amen could have been louder this morning. You want to shout a resurrection, Amen. And you want to give God a shout of victory. Hallelujah. A shout of victory. You want to give Jesus a mighty, mighty clap of praise. And you want to kindly take your seats. We are going to do a few things before we go and have our communion. And have our anointing service. Uh, your life will never be the same. If you have, can you give me Mark chapter 4, verse 30? On Sunday, we announce for you to bring a seed. Let us sow into the life of our father and our mother. So I'm going to be reading from the verse 30 to 32. The Bible says, Then Jesus said, what can I liken the kingdom of God to? He was looking for something to explain how the kingdom of God works. Or with what parable shall we picture it? What kind of story can I tell to simplify how the kingdom of God works? Verse 31. And he said, it is like so he finally found a parable or a picture to show how the kingdom of God works. It is like a mustard seed which when it is sown on the ground it is smaller than all the seeds of the earth. Verse 32. But when it is sown, it grows up and becomes greater than all the trees. And shoots out large branches so that the birds of the air may nest under its shade. We heard Archbishop take us through memory lane how a young man. And a young woman left a place that they grew up to a place that they didn't know in the northern, northern part of Ghana. And what they carried was a seed. A seed that was so insignificant. Other people at the same time were given a seed. But they decided to go and not only did they plant the seed, they planted their lives. Believing that someday this seed will germinate. And its roots will shoot. Its roots will shoot out. And its branches will spread out. And the birds of the air will find shade under the tree. What the birds of the air, who are you and I, can do for that tree? It's to thank God for the tree. Cherish the tree. And be a blessing to that tree. This morning we are here and we have found shade in a tree. 
When men said you couldn't get a place in the center of the city, this man and woman still believed that in the city God had a place for us. And there are some of us, if they, had been, if they had given us this land with all the blood around it and all the sun that comes from, the, from Jolu here, we may say, mm, this one I don't like, can there be a better place for me? But when he got here and the grasses were so tall, he saw a Perez dome when none of us could see it. And this morning we are here. And that's one man's tree. And our one man's vision. That is a good place to appreciate our father and our mother. Yeah. This is someone's vision. An auditorium without pillars. That couldn't be roofed. But once God gave the vision, whatever it takes to accomplish the vision will be given. Whatever vision God has given you, you will make provision to accomplish it. You didn't believe that. If you believed that, you'd have said a louder amen. So this morning, you want to pick a quality seed. You want to pick a quality offering. And we want to sow into the life of our father and our mother. So ushers, if they are baskets at the top, if you want to sign a check, Jones, how do we sign a check? Charles Ajinasari? Charles Ajinasari, that Ajinasari is one name. And this offer said, Oh, sign a check here. Ajinas, I obetre a dino, the obetria cone at Charles Ajinasari. A G Y I N A S A R E. And this morning you want to come and drop your seed on the altar so that quickly we can move into our communion service so every single member you want to pick a quality seed to sow into the life of our father and our mother If last week you took a, an envelope from Bishop Ray, you can also drop it. So the department would, would, would work would work would work late, later. So after the service department, let's let's meet and then we'll sort we'll sort. The Bible talks about the Shunammite woman when she had the privilege of having Elijah, Elisha come through her house. He said, Let me build him a house. Let me tap into the anointing of the man of God. And as she did that, her prayers were answered. A quality, quality offering. Say, so we bless you, man and woman of God. That we have found a place in your tree. That we have found a shade under your tree. That we have a spiritual covering because you obeyed the vision. Let us pray. Some of us came here sick. We must be God has healed us. Some of us came here single. We are married with children. Some of us came here single. We are married with children. Some of you came here with unemployed. God has blessed you. You are working. You are earning well. Some of you came here with unemployed. God has blessed you. You are working. You are earning well. 
Some of you came here, you were working for somebody, now you are self employed with workers under you. Some of us came here, we didn't have even one suit, now we have a wardrobe full of suits and clothes. Some of us came here walking, now we have not only one car but many cars. We are found shade in our father and our mother's tree. Some of us were receptionists, we have grown to be managers in the companies where we are. Some of us were low level staff, you have now joined management. Uh, you have Some of us were at the point of death. And through their prayer, God delivered us. Yes, we now on pay bus. We are ready. 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 So please, can we take? So ushers, can you bring the baskets from the top? Can we have our founders' day cake before we take our? Can we have our Founders Day cake? All the glory must be. So this is not our second offering. We will now take our second offering. We end your offering. So this is an opportunity for every single member to sow into the life of our Father and our Mother. What shall we liken the kingdom of God? What parable or story can we use to explain how it works? It's like a seed that a man took, a mustard seed. Close to a seed that is invisible. A seed that you can easily lose. A seed that can easily be eaten. But the one who holds the seed invests the seed and that seed becomes a giant of tree. Can we have the cake? Okay, as we wait for the cake, we will take our second offering. So if you are watching us, you want to, you want to you want to dial star 800 star 1000 hash across all mobile money platforms there are no transaction fees no e-levy fees and then you can also give uh, mtn mobile money to 0243 mtn mobile money so 0243 50624 or t cash or telesell and uh, T cash and our telecell cash and the number is zero two zero number is zero two zero three one six three one six twenty eighty four twenty eighty four on those two platforms you have to pay if you are paying beyond a certain amount you have to pay the e levy charges and the transactional charges as well and then if you are watching from outside Ghana you want to send give by send wave or world remit or tap tap send send wave and our world remit and our tap tap send the name is Perez Chapel International. The number is plus 233. Number here plus 233. 20 316 316 2084. 2084. Or plus 233. And now plus 233. 243. 243. 500624. 500624. You can also give our PayPal. And the account also. name is Perez Dome. The username is at Perez Dome. And the email is Perez Dome at Perez Chapel.org. My email address is Perez Dome at Perez Chapel.org. This morning, if you want to give 200 CDs and above, our second offering is always a seed sowing offering.
Yeah, for it also be a don't abbreviate and a year above you want to come and drop it on the altar. Over so much, they have your name, the Murosa. You want to come and drop it on the altar. Over to offer him with 200 CDs and above. You have your name, the Murosa. You want to come and drop it on the altar. Over to offer him with 200 CDs and above. You have your name, the Murosa. You want to come and drop it on the altar. Over to offer him with 200 CDs and above. It could be 300, it could be 500, it could be 1,000, 2,000. You want to come and drop it on the altar. Over to offer him with 200 CDs and above. You want to come and drop it on the altar. Over to offer him with 200 CDs and above. If you want to give a hundred CDs and above, it could be a hundred and two, hundred and fifty. You want to come and drop it every resurrection Sunday offering. Oh, sorry, I pass you under a for resurrection Sunday offering. Oh, sorry, I pass you under a for. You want to give a better offering than you give every Sunday. Today's service is a different service. You want to give 50 CDs and above? You want to give 50 CDs and above? 50 could be 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 100 CDs and above. CDs, if you're doing it, you want to give 50 CDs and above? Quality, quality offering, a quality song. Lord, I let your name on high. You came, you gave sick, you came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth. To you want to give 20 and 20 cities and above your account? Did you do no end in a gross war? 20, 30, 40, 15. Did you do no city at the outside? Lord, I let your name on high. Have you heard what the Lord has done? He has destroyed the works of Satan. You want to give? Ten CDs and above, five CDs, two, one, any amount you want to also come and drop it. And that's why I say, Oh, say, I want to give you the same thing. Twenty, ten, five, one, any amount you want to come and drop it. You want to give any amount you want to come and drop it. You want to give any amount you want to come and drop it. He has given us, he has given us. Victory. That's why. That's why. So ten, five, twenty, two, one. Any amount you want to come and drop it. And we are for you, so. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for these offerings. Father, these are tokens of our appreciation unto you. Father, of how you have blessed us and how you have been good unto us. Father, we pray that the resurrection power of Jesus will cause us to have a financial harvest. Father, any dry land Father may become a well of water. Father, where there is lack we pray that divine provision will be our portion. We give you praise and we give you glory. In Jesus' name we have prayed. And we'll all say a big amen. Wow. Awesome. Wow. The cake looks good. Chad board, can you join us? So chat board my best.
Amen. Those of you who can come close. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Heavenly Father. We thank you. This is a point of contact. To say we appreciate you. For 37 years. Receive all the glory. And all the praise. In In Jesus name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Amen. Thank you, thank you. Check, let's clap for them. Let's clap for them. Let's clap for them. Let's clap for them. We are getting ready for the Lord's table. Yeah, but call a radio DJ. On the night on which Jesus was betrayed, he took bread, he broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, this is the new covenant in my blood. As often as you eat this, you do remember the Lord's death till he returns. In like manner, he took the cup. Gave the cup to his disciples and said, This is the new covenant in my blood. As often as you drink this, you do show the Lord's death till he returns. Pastors, as of war, pastor spouses, as of war, will you come? Will you stretch forth your hands over the Lord's table? Some of you should stand over there. When we finish the young pastors, you are going upstairs. We have some upstairs. Heavenly Father, Australia. we prophesy over this bread and wine. We pray that every power inherent in the body and blood of Christ shall be a portion of your people. In Jesus' name, let the sick be healed. Let the demonized be set free. In Jesus' name, Amen. 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 Okay, so the young pastors go upstairs. Any pastor below 40 go upstairs. There are, we have upstairs. Any pastor below 40 go upstairs. We have upstairs. Elders, Dickens, Dickness, any elder Dickness below 40, you are going upstairs. As I've been before, as on for manners and for men, my moon being shaped your nine or moon cost robo. Elders, Dickens, Dickness, as I've been before, as on for manners and for men, man. Make sure you, you take only one. After, after the service, we will make provision for those who want to go and give some to your, a relative or a friend. Don't eat it, wait till we all eat it. 
and the answer chain na ye nyina ye ndi embu mo Paul said it has been reported amongst you Paul e ka se ya ka e se mumu bi no that when you come to the Lord's table some of you eat before the others so wait for all of us to eat. Finish, come for your own here. If you haven't received your communion yet, lift up your hand. If you receive yours, please stand. The watch of the ass, original answer. And you can open it, maybe, and take out your bread. Then you are both doing. Okay, we have some of our. Pastors and leaders coming from upstairs, give us a few minutes. They will You can eat your bread. You can eat your bread now. You can now take your wine. You can drink your wine. You can drink your wine.
When on the on the day of the Passover in Egypt, when they ate the lamb and smeared the blood, they went forty years. Their natural force was not abated. There was not one feeble person amongst them. Put one hand on your forehead. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, as your under shepherd to these people, I pray over their lives. And I pray that the power inherent in the body and blood of Christ shall be the portion of your people. If there is any sick, let them be healed today. If there is anybody with an unknown sickness, let it come out and let them be free. For any incurable situation, touch your people in the name of Jesus. Do for your people what only you can do in the name of Jesus for anything that harasses the any demonic harassment we break its hold in the name of Jesus Lord by the strength of this communion let those who are weak be strong let those who are tired be reinvigorated let wisdom and insight be the portion of your people let breakthroughs and favor be the portion of your people give your people testimonies like never before in Jesus name we call it done. Amen. Amen. Will you take your seat? In the name of Jesus. Can I have my area leaders and sectional leaders? Can you come forward? The area are, leaders, any sectional leaders. If if you are LFU more. area leader or sectional leader, come forward. But we are LFU area leader and our sectional leader. We are going to get into the anointing service. If you are an area leader, a sectional leader, come forward. Heavenly Father, Australia. the anointing breaks the yoke. Lord, on this Resurrection Sunday, we are anointing ourselves with oil as a point of contact for your power to be manifested in our lives. Lord, we ask that let every yoke be destroyed in the name of Jesus. We pray that by this anointing today, let businesses flourish. Let what your people do, let it blossom. Let our families be protected. Let promotion and favor come in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. So, regional pastors, can you also come? The regional pastors. Can you come? And the LFU pastors. And can you take the anointing? Let, let, let me have my sectional leaders take it first. Yes, 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 yes. Sectional. The sectional and area. Yes, the sectional and area leaders take it. So all the young leaders, you are going up. All the young leaders, you are going up. Now my regional pastors. Or LFU pastors. LFU are soft war. 
So you come, you dip your finger in the oil and Oba, now they want to sing a boy and go down. My church board members, elders, pastors, spouses, elders, Pastor. deacons, deaconesses, please come. Can you pour some more for me? I'm going to move here, Grandma. Yes, it is Jesus. Come and pour some oil here for me. I'm going to move here, Grandma. In my soul, for I have touched the hem of his garment, and his blood me oh, dear Jesus, Kabasata Kabara. It is Jesus. Yes. Yes, it is Jesus. Yes, Lord. It is Jesus. In yes, soul. Lord. It is Jesus. Yes. Amen. Amen. Oshes, Abuafo. Do you have my sheet? What's that? And who my baby? Now, the offerings they took for Mama and I. A foreigner or Boma? It's not. Yeah, many men. It's not going to our house. And we if you. It will go to the bank. Eko. Amen. Amen. So don't, don't, don't come to my house. Now, Supernatural Empowerment Summit is our next major program. Last year, we had people from 34 countries. This year we hope it will be more. Some of us are coming from Nigeria. We are coming from Nigeria. And so we need a few things. And the ushers have the forms. Ushers, where are the forms? Now, we will need about 50 bags of 20 kilogram rice. We will need 10 to 4 gallons of cooking oil. 
Sixty four something of ten tomatoes. Twenty cartons of fish. Thirty cartons of chicken. And the people who come from outside, we feed them for free. Last year, I gave a cow for this. This year, I promised to give a cow. But we need some people to also. Somebody has given us a, 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 a rooms that can take, I think, maybe is it 25 or how many people? Obi, uh, am I, uh, 20, about 25 rooms, nice rooms. If we, we, need, need, we need more spaces for accommodation. But if you, you give any better. of these things, lift up your hand, let the ushers bring you a form and fill it right if, now. In the past, in the past, this one elder, a, a Reverend Mrs. Gina Prempe taught me this one. Said in the past, when your family goes to bring fetish, tigari, the whole family helps to host it. You all contribute. This one, we, we've gone to bring the Holy Ghost. And we are having an impartation service. I need you to help me host this program. Oh, I thought you say amen. If you don't even say amen, you help me. Amen. Take a fall. And if I, Amen. Amen. And make sure you fill the form. Now, form no before it. we go. I know. I know. I'm on, I know. I'm on air. So if you are watching me, the whole shaman And you, too, you say you help in the supernatural empowerment. Also, also, because because you love my ministry. If the old draw, AMS, my soft with you, man. Contact us. There will be Pray numbers me. on the screen. Numeri ever wore a year because of winning in him. I mean, Shrao. Amen. Amen. Now, for those at home who have your oil, will you get your oil ready? And if you came with your oil also in the service, lift it up. And let's pray over the oil. Heavenly Father. I ask that this oil will be sanctified. Meet for the use of your people. In the name of Jesus. Put your hand on your forehead. Wherever you are watching me. Heavenly Father. The anointing destroys the yoke. I pray that Lord. Every yoke in the lives of your people this morning will be broken in the name of Jesus. I pray that your people will be set free. Today will mark a new beginning of victory and opportunities. When David was anointed with oil, suddenly he found favor with Saul. He was empowered to slay Goliath. Suddenly he had favor. Leadership became his portion. Let it be the portion of your people. That your people will be will rise to the next level. To your praise and glory. Let the coming days and weeks be seasons of testimonies. In Jesus' name, I call it done. Amen. Amen. Now listen to me before we go off air. After the series Tuesday morning, Tuesday evening, on the on on understanding miracles. You don't want to miss it. Tuesday morning, nine to twelve. Tuesday evening, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. See you this Tuesday. Can we have our electronic announcements? He has risen.
Our Savior sacrificed his life for and has triumphantly risen for the salvation of us all. Thank you for joining us in worship for our great invitation service and Founders Day. We are humbled and overjoyed to welcome you into the loving family of Perez Dome. Receive our heartfelt greetings from our beloved founder and prelate, Archbishop Charles Ajinasari, and our revered mother, Reverend Mrs. Vivian Ajinasari. May the resurrection power of Christ bring abundant blessings into your life. As a church, our mission is to glorify God and spread Christ's love to the world with the compassion of Christ and the power of the Holy Ghost. Stay tuned for the latest updates on news and upcoming events. My name is Belinda Selassie Koko. Precious one, before I turned 60, I started praying for our Tuesday meetings. God put on my heart to share some deep things with you and to be ministering to you. This coming Tuesday is a special Tuesday. I want to specially invite you to be in attendance because I will be sharing some things and the power of God will be activated in your life like never before. Invite your friends and your family and be with me at the Rima service coming Tuesday from 6 p.m. and your life will never be the same. God will meet you at the point of your need. See you there. If you are a Christian in any area of leadership, then come and receive more power for impact in your ministry, career, business, family, and personal life at the Supernatural Empowerment Summit, Ghana. Join host and speaker, Archbishop Charles Ajanasari, as well as other global heavyweights of ministry and industry for one week of insight, inspiration, and impartation. From Ghana, Prophet Namase Sakodir, a seasoned prophet and revivalist. Reverend Dr. Steve Wengam, General Superintendent of Assemblies of God, Ghana, and Leadership Trainer. And Reverend Mrs. Vivian Ajanasari. From Nigeria, Reverend Sam Olubio, pastor and church growth expert, and Apostle Dr. Richard Udo, an apostle and former banker. And from Congo, Apostle Eve Kastanu, entrepreneur and CEO of Congo Telecom. Theme, how to walk in the power of God. Date, 29th April to 5th May, 2024. Morning sessions, 8.30 a.m. Start on Tuesday. Evening sessions, 5.30 p.m. There will also be special masterclass sessions in the afternoons and a special business meeting on Saturday morning. Venue, Perez Dome, Jolu Junction, Accra. For more information, contact plus 233-548-633-650 or plus 233-540-124-196 or visit www.sesummits.org. Supernatural Empowerment Summits. Receive power for impact. Precious one, I want to specially invite you to our service this and every Sunday at the Perez Dome, Jowlu Junction. The Bible says God sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their distractions. I have a special word from God for you that will bring you healing, deliverance and turn your life around completely. If you are sick, troubled, struggling in your finances, your job or your family, the power of God's word will set you free. So join me at the Perez Dome this and every Sunday. When you are light at the Jolu Junction, just ask for the Perez Dome or look out for this big church building. We have pastors and trained people who will help you. Our first service is at 6.30 a.m. and the second service is at 9 a.m. Get ready for your freedom. I'll be expecting you this Sunday. God bless you. There'll be free buses available to shuttle you from Jolu to Seiko, Jolu to La Paz and to Malam Junction, Jolu to Achimota and to Mal 7, Jolu to 37 to Medina. That's all we have for you today. Join our broadcast channel on WhatsApp by scanning the QR code on your screen. Don't miss out on any of our weekday services Tuesday morning for breakthrough time at 9 a.m. Tuesday evening for Rima time at 6 p.m. Thursday for our prophetic and deliverance service at 6 a.m. Until we meet again, my name is Belinda Silasi Koko. Just one, I hope you've been blessed by the service. But if you don't know Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, pray this prayer with me. Dear God, 
Forgive me all my sins. Lord Jesus, you died for me. You rose for me. Come into my life and make my life a testimony to those who know me. Thank you, Lord, for answered prayer in Jesus' name. Will you please lay your hand on your chest and let us pray. Heavenly Father, I pray that this dear one will know you and know you better. They will be established in you by the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, amen. Beloved, if you are sick in any part of your body, lay your hand where you are hurting. The resurrection power of Christ is available to heal you and make you every widow. Heavenly Father, I ask that you stretch forth your healing hands. I pray that you touch this dear viewer from the crown of their head to the soles of their feet. I ask that you blast into their being your miracle working power by the power of the Holy Ghost. I take authority over every spirit of eye problem, every spirit of ear problem, every spirit of back problem, every spirit of leg problem, every spirit of knee problem. And I ask that you will touch your people and make them every with all. Satisfy their mouth with good things and cause them to celebrate and rejoice in you. In Jesus' name, I call it done. Amen. Beloved, by the resurrection power of Christ, your needs are met. Let us pray if you are believing God for any breakthrough. Lord, I ask that you intervene in the lives of your people. I pray that whatever breakthrough your people are believing you for, you will let it happen for them. Breakthrough in marriages, breakthrough in families, breakthrough in exams, breakthrough in education, breakthrough in business, breakthrough. Lord, those who want to get married, breakthrough. Those who are believing you for children, let them have a breakthrough. Satisfy the mouth of your people with your resurrection power on all sides. In Jesus' name, I call it done. Amen. Join us same time next week, God willing, and your life will never be the same.